Hey fans, I'm Allie Love and I am here with Nets Daily Bob and Tom to discuss their 10 year anniversary. So Bob, how did the Nets Daily get started? It got started with a group of fans who just wanted a place to sit around, talk about the Nets and commiserate at that point. But um, it's been going on for 10 years. Um, we're very proud of the fact that it's lasted 10 years. That is a very long time for a sports site. But basically it was a group of fans. Oh, nice. So what's the purpose for the site so we can get, you know, fans, I'm sure you have a huge following, but tell us the purpose of the site to this day. I mean, the purpose of the site now is essentially to make sure that fans have a place where they can talk about the Nets, where they can argue about the Nets, where they can get information on the Nets, where they can get news on the Nets, analysis, whatever they want, we try to give them. All right, Tom, let's get you in here. So tell us a little bit about your role here with the Nets Daily. Yeah, uh, I do game coverage for Nets Daily. Uh, I'm here at Barclays covering the Nets, uh, talking to the players, uh, you know, really just kind of giving, being the eyes, the ears of, of the Barclays Center and, and what goes on here at uh, Nets games. So it's really exciting and a uh, great opportunity. So you're pretty much like a season ticket holder, except you give out a lot of information, inside stuff, huh? Right, right. That's exactly what it is. But it's great. You know, this is you know, fantastic arena, uh, great team, uh, you know, just overall, just really love the experience. How did you hear about Nets Daily and how did you get started with the website? Uh, you know, I've been covering the NBA for uh, many years and, uh, you know, started writing about the Nets and, and Bob contacted me and uh, asked if I want to be a part of the team. And of course, I couldn't pass it up and, uh, you know, been here for two years covering the Nets in Brooklyn and it's been really exciting. So, Bob, I'm sure you get this all the time. Why Tom here? <laughs> Why Tom? Tom's as, Tom's as good as it is in terms of managing the site, getting here, doing what has to be done. And again, it's always about trying to inform the fans, give them an insight, give them that insider knowledge that they may not get um, from other, other places. I mean, we try to go beyond the beat writers. We try to use their material, but also try to use some of ours as well. So speaking of beat writers and the materials that you put out, what makes you so different and so essential for Nets fans? I think we're essential because we're comprehensive. I mean, we'll do D-League coverage. We'll do coverage of European players who the Nets have drafted. We'll do as much coverage as, as they can stand. And in some cases, they'll say, we don't need that. But you know, we're going to keep giving it to them because at some point, this will become important. And I think that that's one of the things that we do. And we occasionally break a story. You break a story. Now, speaking of the fans, how large is your community at Nets Daily? Yeah, we have over 20,000 registered users. Um, you know, we have a big following on social media. Um, so, you know, we, we have a great big community, and uh, I think it's just great that Nets fans have stuck with us, uh, you know, starting from days in New Jersey all the way here to Brooklyn, and it's really grown and expanded. So it's been, uh, yeah, the fans are great, and to me it's one of the best parts of doing this is being able to interact with the fans. How is it that you keep up with all this? Like, it seems pretty busy. Commit to it. It says daily, Nets daily. Right. It's a pretty busy schedule. How, how do you handle it all? Uh, it's tough. You know, it's just a passion. You know, you go out there and, and it's a passion. And again, being able to have the community embrace us and have the fans embrace us, uh, that's a big reason why we do it. We do it to keep them informed. Uh, and sometimes I sit there and, and think, okay, I can't keep up with it. But I know that the fans are sitting there waiting and they're going to get on us if we don't keep up with it. So, you know, I kind of soldier through and, and uh, you know, it's great. It's great. We love doing it and uh, love being a part of it. Let's say on the idea of like community, how does uh, the community support the team? The community supports the team in a lot of different ways. I mean, first of all, there's a lot of season ticket holders, but what we're finding as the team has moved to Brooklyn, that there are a number of international fans. We have fans from Malta. We have fans from Australia. We have fans from England. We have fans from Indonesia. We have a lot of fans from the Philippines for, for reasons that nobody seems to know. But you know, these people are also interacting with the Brooklyn fans. And we've even had fans who've flown from Indonesia to come here. Nets Daily fans who've kept wow. informed and they've, and they've wanted to see the team. They've come here. We've introduced them to people. Um, I was lucky enough to, to introduce them to Jason Kidd, these two guys from Indonesia who just didn't expect that. And that's the sort of thing that, that makes it special. And, you know, Arena Pavlova has been very helpful in that. And as has the Nets, I mean, we've never had any situation where the Nets haven't been ready to help. So speaking of Jason Kidd, I, I just noticed, you know, on the website when I was going through it, that um, the site started 10 years ago when Jason Kidd was on the Nets. How does it feel 10 years later, during your anniversary, to have Jason Kidd, now the head coach, 
a part of the Nets organization? Well, it was a big thrill when, when he was named. I mean, I knew a few days beforehand that it was likely. And I was asked, well, what do you think? And I said, I think it's great. I mean, because he was the Nets. For a lot of people who've been, who've been Nets fans, he's the reason why they're Nets fans. The two guys from Indonesia who came here were Nets fans because they liked Jason Kidd. So it, it completes the circle, obviously. And it completes the circle for us. It completes the circle for him.